Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this wig to look like this. I am one that is a lover of wigs. No, I'm not an expert at all about wigs, but I do love to wear them instead of wearing like my natural hair. But the thing about it is, human hair wigs can sometimes be too expensive. So lately I've been playing around in synthetic wigs, trying to find like the most close to human looking ones. And so I found this wig on Amazon and I was like, hmm, I think I wanna buy this one. So I did and I have it on here today. It is a bob, it is long in the front and short in the back. It's a really cute wig and I wanna show you guys how I exactly got it like this. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I got this wig to look this way, just keep watching. All right guys, so here's the beautiful wig here. I have, as you can see, not, applied it yet it came in this nice little netting and it came in like a little plastic bag it wasn't like in a box or anything so this was sold by modern fairy hair on amazon i paid 40 dollars for this wig i feel like it looks really really natural like it has a light shine to it and it's not too much it really does look like when you get your bundles and they are just like brand new now hopefully once i apply it it goes on really well it doesn't look like the picture but we're just gonna play with it and kind of make it our own it has the little straps inside also also has combs too like it's very well constructed on the inside like it doesn't look cheaply made at all it does have the lace and the lace is not like pure white it actually looks like it could almost like be invisible so I shouldn't have any problem with it I wasn't gonna like bleach the lace or anything like that because this is a synthetic wig just something easy to throw on but now I know I won't have to work so hard to actually like make it blend in with my skin tone just based off of how it looks now let's go ahead and apply it to my head and see what it looks like Ooh, it fits very very well let's just start off there it fits very very well it went on like perfect to my head now it looks a little bit longer than in the picture that I seen but it's not that big of a deal I actually like this length like the last week I had like this that was this length oh my gosh it was so thin it was super duper thin this one actually is thick and it looks like something like it looks like it's made for a big head person like me. Now it comes with the middle part already here. I feel like the middle part needs to be back a little bit more so they can make it look a little bit more natural. And I think all you have to do to get that is just to kind of separate the hair because it looks like it's already there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it back real quick so that I can really see the lace and see what I'm looking like over here so the texture of this hair is really really nice and right now what i'm doing is just kind of going in and trying to figure out what's going to be my sideburns so that when i go in and cut the lace i'll know exactly where to cut it I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually cut this on my head by like doing it better that way. That way I can really tell what needs to be cut or not. I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna just start plucking it a little bit. I'm just gonna kinda hold my finger right here and then just start plucking it. I'm gonna take a little bit like this. Okay, I'm gonna go in and trim it a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in and take some gel. This is some gel by Smooth and Shine. It doesn't flake, that's why I really like it. I'm gonna use this to kind of lay down the front. The 
before I start working on the heart and making it look a little bit more natural, I'm gonna spray the top now with some Gossidy glue gel. And now I'm gonna tie it down. I'm just gonna start taking my flat iron now and flat ironing this. I have it on 20. The highest that my flat iron actually can go is 50, but I don't wanna put too much heat on it because of course it is a synthetic wig. So I'm just taking some light heat and kind of straightening out the ends so that it can be like super straight. Now I tried to go in and part it, but that was an epic fail. Like the way that the wig is set up, it's really not meant to be parted. So I'm gonna go ahead and untie it. Okay, so now let's go in and add a little bit of concealer in this area so I can bring back the life in my part and make it look like I have one. I'm gonna now go in and use some powder. I like this Maybelline powder because it's more so of a neutral powder and it's not that orangey tone powder. All right guys, so here is the final result with the wig. I feel like it looks really good. I feel like I have a cute little bob going on here. It's full, it doesn't look thin. It actually looks like really, really nice. I'm gonna give this wig a thumbs up. I really do like it, I really do like it. I hate the fact that I can't really part it though. And I also dislike the fact that it doesn't look anything like the picture, but overall, I was able to work with it and make it my own. The wig doesn't really tangle. I really do like it. And if you guys like it and want to buy it, I will link it down below for you. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this review on this wig. I hope you guys like this wig because I certainly do. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section box below. Before I forget to mention though, the powder that I use is the Maybelline powder and the tweezers I use were a flat head tweezer to plug the front. I feel like these are better because it plugs more hair and you don't have to spend all day plucking. That's pretty much everything I used and plus the wig. I will just see you guys later. Bye!